Hi, I'm out on the range today with my good friend Rob who's running the camera and um, we're just doing some shooting um, at different distances. This is really target work and uh, really kind of a fun day. Uh, we put a target out at 50, we put one out at 70, and we put one out at 100. Now for hunting I think there's a real shortcoming in the crossbow world right now. People are losing the ability to kind of really hunt and get close to game. And people all the time say, well, how far will that bow shoot? Well, this bow will shoot a long way. You'll see that today. But that's for target shooting, not for hunting. I think when we lose the idea that we got to get close to game, take a 20, 30-yard shot with your crossbow, you'll be absolutely happy all the time. Um, 50 yards is probably the absolute max uh, that you should be taking a shot Wind, at. Uh, right to left today. Not bad. we got some trees protecting us on the right side here at the range. Bingo! Bulls Zoom in on that, Rob. Confidence on the on his bow and his equipment. We got a lot of shooters that shoot other bows, and then they come and buy a coat of bow. Heck, one guy, a couple guys, even bought it as a backup because they were losing confidence in their bow. And Coda bow quickly becomes their bow of choice, you know. Uh, that's what they like to shoot. So let's do one more down there. Load our arrow. Bow's in safe. Put it in the fire position. Take a breath. Let it out. Hold a little bit. Bingo. That's in there. And I'll do one more. I've grown uh, I've grown less favorable on things that fit go on the bow. I mean there's you know this bow's shooting pretty quiet. I've got the limb dampeners on it and I've got some string dampeners on it. But you got to be careful because if those move on you, it will change your point of impact. So, uh, you know, there's pros and cons, uh, which is kind of the story of crossbows when you really get down to it. We'll shoot one more here. We've got two down there. I hope I don't hit that arrow. Bingo. Rob's got this zoom on the camera today, so it's probably getting, you can see it a little bit better than I can. We're shooting a three power scope. We'll pull out some heavy gear later, like a 14 power scope. One more here, Rob. How many we got down there? Two? Three, I think. Three? I'll shoot one more then. a little funny. Yeah, that, it's touching the other one though. Yeah, but the vein, I don't, I'll, I'll call that. I think that went about like a half inch down right. Again, we're shooting at 50 yards, so let's not get too. And I wouldn't say I'm. Now, I'm spending a little time talking to shooters out in Europe, and they can shoot real tight groups at 60 yards offhand, cocking their bows by hand, not using a mechanical or a uh, rope cocker like we are. So I give those guys credit. In fact, we were uh, talking last night about shooting competitively. So last arrow. Beautiful morning. Naturally, every time you go to shoot, the wind comes up. You can feel it. Bingo. There's another group down there for uh, four shots. I'm going to go down and grab those arrows, Rob. kind of just goofing around now. We've got uh, a couple arrows. We put a little balloon down there. We're shooting a mil dot scope. Got the military uh, reticle in it. Uh, scope set at four and a half power. 
don't really need a lot of magnification. Let's give it a go and see if we can break a balloon down there. It's about the size of a baseball. I'll take my lucky arrow, Rob, and load her in the uh, load her in the bow. If you can get on that target with your super duper camera. The wind's not blowing here, so we're looking pretty good for the moment. You'll see that balloon bounce around down there every once in a while. You good to go? Go ahead. Here we go. Oh, low left. Let me do one more. Maybe that wasn't my lucky arrow after all. I'll feel real good about this shot based on, I'll dope the wind a little bit here because I can see how the arrow moved on that shot and if everything stays consistent we'll break the balloon with this shot. Which is some of the fun of target shooting. You see how your equipment works, you see the differences in arrows and try to take into account some environmental factors. Then go. I forgot to hit record. Now I got it. <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> so that's the deal. That was the first shot and then really taking the second shot and really kind of doping for wind conditions and then making the shot. Hi, I'm here with my buddy Rob. You can see Rob's uh, hunts out of a chair. And uh, we were talking and he wanted to show uh, and maybe demo the new Kodakrank rope, rope cocker. Rob, I see you, you don't use the regular Coda crank, huh? Handle. No, I, no, I don't. I'm a C6-7 quadriplegic, and I don't do very good with rotational things. So I use a ratchet wrench. It's push forward, pull back, push forward, pull back. And this is a 225-pound model, and it comes right on back for me. And it just really helps out for anybody with hand problems that can't do a full rotation that way it takes you know it takes a, a little bit longer but it actually does really well if you have problems with your hands I've had a chance to hunt with Rob a little bit and uh, I for the lack of a rope cocker that's kept you from being totally independent now you're uh, you know with uh, a Coda crank you can really I know you go by yourself but you don't have to depend on someone being around to cock your bow, I guess, huh? Yes, and uh, I've, I've been through a lot of bows and a lot of cranks, and I, this one even, you think it would be harder because it is a recurve. It's not, it comes right back. And as you'll see in a minute, it'll be back there, and you'll notice the safety rotate. You're easing it into the trigger group, I can see that. Yep, and as you get into the trigger group, you'll notice that it'll the safety will rotate in the safe. I heard it click and now yeah there you go. The safety rotated in. And now we'll put a little back pressure push in. And ease off your crank huh? And ease off. Because your your bowstring is now being held by by the trigger group. Yep. And you're good to go. And we're good to go. Bow's back ready. Well we'll be ready to shoot when I pull this off of here my hands are really bad so but actually for being as bad as it is it's really simple to use so you really easy to use so you've cocked your coda bow and uh, you're good to go hunting and and I guess you don't have to depend on somebody being around to cock that bow for you like the old days huh no nope and it's really nice and it's, like I said it comes back really easy really easy the ratchet wrench makes it twice as easy. Right. And uh, that's only because I, I can't bring my hand all the way around, but for people that have hand problems that can't do a full rotation, that have more strength pushing forward than they do pulling, this will bring it right back. Just a simple 3 8 inch ratchet wrench. Right. Hey, Rob Super, thanks for showing us that. And I know you've, you've adapted it a little bit differently. A lot of hunters are gonna use the coat of crank and it'll come back a little quicker. But uh, for some that don't have that rotational movement, I mean, you figured it out, and uh, thanks a lot for your help. No problem. Rob's back on the shooting line again. 
let me go down and look at this target. He's got one arrow in the bull, so he's feeling a little cocky right now. But let's see if he can put that second one in there. I gave him a bad arrow. So, we'll see. 50 yards, wheelchair, rail, wind. He's trying to shoot it with the bow in safe. It's not his first rodeo, it's his second rodeo, so you don't expect to see that really. But we're going to watch what he does. Well, we had a good day shooting. Some of us did. Some of us did. Well, no, we did good. We did good. No complaints. Yeah. Bows work good. You hit what we're aiming at. Fooled around at 70 and 100 yards for a little bit. Yeah. Tight groups at 50. Hunting range. So you're set for this year. Yeah, I'm set for turkeys now. Let's wait for the season to roll in. You like your Coda crank? Love it. You love it? Love it. No, well, there you go. Hey, nice day. Good spring day. Good to spend some time with you, my friend. Yep. You too. Take care, Rob. And uh, about those arrows. Yeah. You can be the people exactly. Yeah, the veins. The veins are. I mean, you shot if you can shoot these veins, uh, the little wrinkled, you know, kind of damage a little bit, you know, you're doing good. Yeah, Coda I, bow, I, I see what you're doing, Sammy. The Coda bow will make up for that. Yeah. You know. I see what you're doing. I want to handicap you, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I see. You what know?